Hi Rafikis, my name is Farhana and I'm from Kenya. It's been my biggest dream to do a crazy road trip from Kenya all the way to South Africa. We are covering four countries in the span of three weeks. So here's my road trip to South Africa. The border between Mozambique and South Africa is about 100-150 meters. You can literally walk uh, pretty easy, stamp, 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 stamp. Remember, if you have a Kenyan passport, you need to apply for a visa to enter South Africa. It takes five to ten days to apply for the visa, so make sure all of that is done. Rafikis, it's 11.30 p.m. right now. The border closes in half an hour. We're crossing into South Africa, which is our final destination of this road trip. You can make sure to subscribe down below and join the Rafiki squad. Follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, it's a night time right now. I'm going to say goodbye for a little while and I'll see you guys in the morning when we've crossed the border because this is the border right now. I'll see you guys in South Africa. Welcome to South Africa, Rafiki. This is one country I will definitely describe as Europe in Africa. There is so much to do and so much to see. From chilling with penguins, swimming with seals, spectacular sunsets, feeding elephants, paragliding over cities and so much more. Rafikis, this is just part one of the South Africa vlogs, which is Johannesburg. I will be uploading part two, which is going to be Cape Town next week. I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's begin. Good morning, Rafikis. We are in South Africa. I cannot believe that we're in South Africa. I'm still shocked. Yesterday we crossed at around 12 midnight. We were so tired, so we decided to just find the closest accommodation Possible, which was about a kilometer literally a kilometer away from where the border was and we crashed here for the night and now we are heading to Kruger National Park I'm so excited for South Africa we're gonna be doing so much we're going to Johannesburg we're going to Cape Town and in Cape Town we're doing some pretty epic stuff I'm telling you guys if you're not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button below we're so close to a hundred thousand subscribers yalla let's locations so leopard is blue and they sighted it at this point and this is today this is yesterday now Rafiki's there's something pretty cool that I need to share with you guys number one when you get to when you enter Kruger National Park very very important for you to buy a map here is the map of Kruger National Park which is 55 rands together with the map you go on your WhatsApp and you enter into this group called Latest Sightings Kruger. You can find the link on Facebook, on the website. You join the group, the WhatsApp group, and the admins post live sightings of animals in Kruger National Park. So you use the map to get to those sightings and see the animals. Life is easy, Rafiki. 
So right now they've posted in the group that there are lions at a certain location. So we're using the map to get to that location and see them lions. drive in Kruger National Park there's so many private cars in here everywhere but the best part is like a lot of the roads are tarmac they're tarmac in this national park it's beautiful it's so much fun just driving through and seeing the animals on the side you know what's so cool about these national parks here there's so many of these little stops that you can do with there's picnic sites there's restaurants there's petrol stations there are bathrooms as well they have a spa they have coffee shops they have car hires they have conference centers they also have prayer facilities at each and every stop so if you're muslim there is a mosque for you to pray they even have an ablution area it's pretty cool they're like fully equipped for everybody There are many exit gates of the Kruger National Park, but the one that we are exiting from is called Pambeni. We're going to be staying at a lodge not far from the exit. It's about 10 to 15 kilometers away. And then tomorrow we're going to make our way into Johannesburg. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> what is your name? Happy. Your name is Happy? Uh, yes. Your actual name is Happy? Yes. So that means every day that you're happy. Uh, yes. That's so cool. <laughs> Good morning Rafikis, it's a new day here in South Africa and we're in an area called Hazy View which is where we slept last night and right now we're heading to an elephant sanctuary. Rafikis, this place is not a zoo, it's a sanctuary. They have two elephants, one is called Kidzo and the other one is called Kaspar. They were orphaned elephants so their parents were killed when you know people used to do poaching which is actually still done in many parts of africa they were baby elephants who were orphans and brought here into the sanctuary so they look after them very well they feed them they give them water and shelter cost is 670 rands you have an hour and a half to interact with them and then the rest of the day they are let this place is huge so they are let out to wander off and do what elephants do they're free to do what they want elephants are smart Meaning, once you try to punish your elephant today, one of the good days you'll be very, very sorry. Can easily go to one of them with this stick, give him a hide. That elephant can easily run away from me, not simply because I'm stronger than him, no. Casper is five tons, kids are three tons, I'm less hundred kilos. The next day I'll be still wanting to work with the same elephant. The moment I get closer to him, he just looks at me and say, oh Trinity, remember what you did yesterday? Today is another day, and it's gonna be your day. If that elephant turns one whip of that trunk, you see me flying like Tarzan. That is why we are using positive reinforcement technique of training our elephants. Cool. Thank you very much, wise man, that's my name. And this is Kitso. So name meaning knowledge. It's about 18 years old, 20 years old, weighing over three tons. It's a very good boy. You can listen to him. Kitso talk. Talk louder. Okay, right guys, that sound you hear from your elephants is called rumbling. That's one of the five ultra sounds that you can easily hear from them. It's a good sound to hear from your elephants. Nasty. 
now and we're driving towards an area called Sabi and it's about 50 kilometers to get to Sabi from Hazyview. Sabi is a forestry town situated on the banks of the Sabi River in Mpumalanga. The views and landscapes driving towards Sabi are absolutely spectacular. Beautiful, this country is so green. I, I, feel, I kind of feel like I'm in Switzerland because it's all different shades of green. It's stunning. About two kilometers from Sabi town are these falls called Lone Creek Falls, which is where we are at right now. I can hear, I can hear the water. I can hear the waterfalls. The Lone Creek Falls are about 68 meters high. You can see that thing was beautiful. This part of South Africa highly resembles Switzerland. I feel like I'm in Europe. It's so beautiful. There's so many different types of people around. basically a viewing point where you see this beautiful landscape it's so quiet you're one with nature there was 17 rands to enter here there was 30 rands to enter into a waterfall place per person by the Civilization, guys. This small Santon City is massive, it's so big. Any brand that you can think of is here at this mall. You go absolutely insanely crazy with shopping. Anyways, we're gonna explore Santon City a little bit and then we're gonna move on. A little bit of Joburg because I'm only here for 24 hours. I mean 12 hours now because I've already spent half a day. Rafiki's. It's about 5 p.m. and we come to an area called North Cliff Hills. It's an area where you can see like the entire Johannesburg. So this is gonna be fun. It's 
so cold right now what would top up the whole experience up here would be like a good mug of tea I'm chilling here with some butter biscuits perfect this is the CBD of Johannesburg we have the suburbs of Johannesburg over there Santan city is there where we were this morning this area where we're at is called North Cliff that over there is Cresta Mall around there this side that road is heading to Honeydew and then here we have the sunset <laughs> and here we have Johannes, the south of Johannesburg you guys heard that on camera thank you so much for watching my vlogs Rafiki this is only part one of my South Africa vlogs I will be having part two coming up next week I don't know if many of you guys know but I do upload a video every Tuesday so part two will be all about Cape Town which is going to be insane There's penguins involved seals involved the waterfront and so much more so make sure to subscribe down below hit that bell button to be notified whenever I post the new video and I'll see you guys in the next one i